Have you also heard that Facebook will get better reach on their business pages? I don't know if you have a business page yet or if you still are doing your online business through your personal page on Facebook. But if you have a business page now in 2023, it's a time to dig into the business page and also put some effort on working with it. Because Facebook has decided what I have learned from uh, one of the gurus in social media, Rachel Peterson, that you can use Facebook business page in a much better way than before. Um, a couple of years now, it's the personal pages that has had the bigger reach and the business pages has had less, less, less reach. And now they are trying to change that. So if you don't have a business page still, tune in to my live today where I tell about what you can use a business page to and why I recommend that a business page is a way of working on social media. If you haven't met me before, my name is Gabriela Grutenfeld and I have a business online where I help online entrepreneurs, home-based businesses, network marketers, people who work in MLM to grow their business on social media using social uh, strategies, uh, marketing strategies, and my mission is to help people work smarter, not harder, to grow their business online. So they don't need to be out there online 24-7. Find ways of how to work easier with social media. And that's why I think that business pages is a great way to have and to work with as a combination with your personal page. When I started out with network marketing and building an on online business, I didn't know much about social media, more than I was there to uh, have friends, connect with old friends and my families and share things that I have done and see what they have done. And when I started up, it was like, okay, first I need to make sure that my personal page is public. Uh, but I actually just started on the business page. It took a time before I even started to work with my business on my personal page because I wanted to grow a business. And then it was a business page that I wanted to have. And now after a couple of years, I have learned by attraction marketing on how to work with modern strategies, how to get pre-qualified prospects instead of building this hundred list or chasing strangers or families to your products and business in how to get them to reach out to you instead. And at the moment I have a 10 day bootcamp together with my mentor Fernando Ceballos in how you can work with modern strategies to grow your business online. And if you are interested in this, just uh, send me a comment in the chat with your favorite emoji, and I will send you a link to this 10 day free bootcamp. And of course, if you uh, want to continue to follow me on my business page, or if, if you haven't signed up for my business page, just, just click follow on uh, when you have clicked the link in the description. So you see my post that I'm sharing on my business page. So let's dig in a little bit, okay, why you should have a business page and not only the personal page. First of all, think of social media and Facebook as a sales funnel. Your personal page is where you build know, like, and trust. You build uh, them to getting to know you more and you create new connections, etc. And then when they, you start talking about your business and when people are interested in your business, transfer them over to your business page. Introduce your business page as that there is where they can learn more about your products, your business, or if you are a coach. There you, you can share value. You can share more about your products. You can even have a web shop on your business page that is impossible on your personal page so see it as a sales funnel like you know if you see like a pyramid but up, uh, upside down you have all of those cold prospects up here 
And then when you transfer them to your business page, they are a little bit warmer. You know that those people has actually by themselves wanted to click to follow your business page because they are interested in what you are doing. And your personal page, you need to be yourself as well. So they see that you are you. And you can sometimes even share things on your business page about yourself. Because if they have a business page, if you only have your company name, I can say it's really hard to grow the business with your company name on Facebook. Then you need to be a really big company so they know about the brand. But if you want to have the attraction, I recommend you to have your name as a brand so they get to know and like and trust you even more than on your personal page. So that was the first thing, the sales funnel. The second thing is actually on your personal profile, you can only have up to 5,000 friends. Maybe that sounds a lot today, but think about how would your business look in a couple of years? Then 5,000 is not that much. And on your business page, you can have how many you want. You have a lot of followers there. And if you don't start growing your business as an entrepreneur, even if you're doing it from home, then when you're reaching almost 5,000, you need to go through all of those. Okay, who should I keep? Who should I don't keep? So having a business page is a way for you to building your business in the long term. And the third thing is actually you can do advertising on your business page. Maybe that seems like I will never do advertising, at least not now. And that's okay. But still, you have the opportunity to do that. And when you start doing advertising, it's really easy, actually. Uh, then you have a business page and then they see that you have had it for a while. So that just that builds you to have influence when you start doing the advertising. But to start doing advertising can be a little bit out of your comfort zone, maybe at the moment. Uh, I have done it, and at the moment I'm not doing any advertising. I'm just building organic. But what you can do is to boost your post on a business page. page. <laughs> and what I mean by that is if you have a post that you see you get a lot of attraction to, you have a lot of comments, you can boost it. You just pay ask Facebook and you pay a couple of dollars and then you can say show this post to people that look like my followers already so then you your post just shows up to people that are in the same target market as the followers that you already have and they can decide if they want to follow you and learn more or not and it's a cheap way of growing your influence growing more prospects because if you want to grow a business online you always need more people to talk to and this is an easy way to do it instead of chasing strangers that you have no idea if they are interested or not in your business so that was the third part that i want to share to you today about the business page and it's still free it's really easy to do you go to your business page, uh, personal page and then you go to, you know, those three dots and there you click build a page and then you, you just create it and it says step by step exactly how to do. And it's still free, as I said. I don't know what will happen in the future with a business page, but to have a business page, you need to have the personal page um, to be like the owner of the business page. So even if you only are a company, you still need to have a personal page that build this business page. So those three things are, first, Facebook will actually invest on getting more people to see posts on the business pages. You can use it as a part of your sales funnel to get pre-qualified prospects to your page. You can use it with web shops. You can boost your posts. So I hope this has helped you. And if you want to learn more about how to use business pages and how to learn attraction marketing, the modern way of building, just send your, put your favorite, favorite emoji in the comments and I will share a link to my 10-day free bootcamp where you 
can learn more about how to build your business online and get prospects contacting you instead of you spending time on contacting strangers. Looking forward to see you next week. Bye.